Hello students, C programming have become a crucial part of all M MNCs interviews now. I have listed 30 important questions here. Let's see one by one. What is C? Why we use it? C is a high level programming language. It is used to develop system software and application software. Second question, what are the basic data types in C? Int, float, character, double. What is the meaning of header file? Give examples. It contains declaration of predefined functions. For example, stdio.h, conio.h, math.h, string.h, etc. Fourth question. What is the use of void? Void is a data type. Void will not return any value. What is header file? It is a file which has Declarations of predefined functions. Can we compile a program without main function? Yes, but can't run a program. We can compile, but we cannot run a program without main function. Next question What are keywords? How many keywords are there in C? Pre, uh, keywords are, has predefined meaning. And can't be used as a variable. It cannot be used as a variable name. In C, there are 32 keywords. What are identifiers? It's a name given to an entity. That is example, amount, total, sum, etc. What is the difference between variable and an identifier? It's an important thing. Variable name that points to a memory location. But identifiers are distinctly identifies an entry entity in a program that is a variable in uh, all variables name or identifiers but all identifiers are not variable next question question 8 difference between local and global variable local variable declared inside a function and global variable declared outside a function. That is, in global variable, the scope is throughout the program. It is not restricted. Another uh, thing on, uh, is there, that is reference variable. The reference variable provides an alternate name for the previously defined variable. Ninth question, what is the use of percentage %d, percentage %s, percentage %c and percentage %f? They are called format specifier and used to print an identifier, string, character, floating point value. Uh, sorry, not identifier, integer. Use of static variable. A variable which is declared as static is static variable. It is initialized only once in memory to reduce the memory usage. Another important difference, call by value and call by reference. Call by value, when a copy of a value is passed, original value is not modified in call by value. But in call by reference, the original value is modified. Another difference, actual and formal arguments are created in separate memory location. But in call by reference, same memory location. Next point, copies of Actual arguments are passed to formal arguments. In call by reference, address of the actual arguments are passed to their respective formal arguments. Next question, recursion. What is recursion? A function calling itself. Next one, built-in function. Built-in function can be also called as library function. That is a function that is that are provided by the developer of that software. So, it is already there. For example, scan of print of string copy, average, min, max, etc. How can a string be converted to a number? To convert a string into a number, we use this thing, ATOI. A -T -O -I. That is... Uh, this is an input given. After using this function, only number will be displayed. How can a number be converted to a string? 
using this s printf next question why i plus plus is executed faster than i plus 1 it's a very important question i plus plus it's a unary operation unary operator i plus 1 is binary operation so it needs one variable so lesser time uh, in binary operation it needs more time that's why i plus plus will be always executed faster than i plus 1 Next question, four categories of data types. This is not basic. Generally speaking, four categories of uh, data types. That is basic, derived, enumerated and void. Only if they ask basic data types, you need to write int, float, etc. C token. It is a very important thing. C tokens. Includes keywords, constants, special symbols, strings, operators, identifiers, etc. What is preprocessor? It is a directive to the compiler to perform certain things before the actual compilation process begins. What is an array? It is a collection of similar data type under common name. What is a structure? Structure is defined as a collection of heterogeneous different data items what is the use of slash zero character it is referred to as a terminating null character it is used primarily to show the end of the string value so what is syntax error it is associated with the mistakes in the use of a programming language next question can we use int data type to store a value 32768? No. Why no? Because int is capable of storing values from minus 32768 to 32767. If we need to store more than this, only we can use long int or unsigned int. What is the difference between plus plus a and a plus plus? Very important question. Plus plus a prefix increment. A plus plus postfix increment. That is prefix increment means increment would happen first on the variable a. Then the resulting value will be the one to be used. But a plus plus in a plus plus the current value of a will be used before the value of a itself gets incremented next one another important question difference between while 0 and while 1 while of 0 loop condition will be always 0 this is the meaning for while of 0 the, that is the con code inside the loop will not be executed at all while of 1 it's a infinite loop sometimes they will ask while of minus 1. That is also same thing infinite loop. Difference between structure and union. In union, all member variables are stored in same location. Whereas in structure, separate memory locations. Use of semicolon in programming. It, the, the semicolon is a, acts as a boundary between two set of instructions. Give some examples for entry control loops and exit control loops. For loop, while loop or entry control loops. They will be starting from this. And exit control loop is do while. And the last one is R. Exit and return statements are same in function definition. No, no. They are not same. Why? Exit immediately exits from the program itself. And return statement is used to return the control of the program execution. Hope you have understood all these 30 questions. Thank you.